from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. When it comes to domestic audio, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's unbalanced audio. When it comes to the professional industry, well, it's a bit of a 50-50 split, depending on what you're doing and various other factors. But on the whole, in most cases, Pro Audio uses balanced audio. But what do you do when you've got to run an unbalanced signal into a balanced system? And how do you wire it up? It's Old Mate's Q&A and Advice Time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, how to wire, wire an unbalanced, say, quarter-inch plug to a three-pin balanced XLR plug. Anything AV. Most things IT. Heaps of stuff about the 80 series Land Cruiser. Got questions, need answers and advice? This is Old Mate's Q&A and advice from Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mates Q&A and Advice time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday morning. Bit of a quick Q&A and Advice for this one. Uh, got an email during the weekend from a viewer who contacted me privately. Seems, seems like I get that a lot, doesn't it? Um, hi, you seem to know your audio and your pro audio. How do you actually wire an unbalanced system to a balanced system? Okay. As we know, there are two types of balanced plugs. TRS quarter inch, tip ring sleeve, and your traditional three pin in that or in that fashion, XLR plug. But what do you do if you're running, say, a quarter inch unbalanced, like a headphone type plug extension, to a balanced, say, TRS or XLR? Now we know with XLR plugs, pins one and two, or in the case of a quarter inch, TR, are your positive and negative. With pin three on an XLR being shield, and the same for TRS. But what do you do to actually get the, the system to work correctly? Well, you don't, you don't not wire the third pin. I've done this and I've had it done for me, mainly because I can't solder. When you are wiring an unbalanced signal, and look, let's face it, if you don't know how to do this, you shouldn't be doing anything with audio. That just goes without saying. But if you are in a situation where you do have to run an unbalanced audio signal into a balanced audio chain, what do you do? Now we know with an unbalanced audio signal, you have positive and negative, or positive and common, whatever you want to call it. But how do you do it when you've got to run it into, say, a balanced mixer? It's pretty easy. And I'm surprised people don't actually know this. We all know the saying, if I know it, everyone here at Backyard Tech knows it. It comes down to pin three on an XLR plug or the sleeve on a quarter inch. You've got a short common and shield or common and sleeve. At the moment, I'm having trouble with that at the other half's parents' church, which you guys will see what I have to do this coming Easter holiday period. When you, the, with a balanced audio signal, you have positive, negative, and inverted. But with a, that's balanced. With an unbalanced, you just have positive and negative. RCA plugs, headphone plugs, it's all unbalanced audio. But a balanced one has an inverted signal. Now, when it comes to plugging up to a mixing desk, whether you're talking an analog, Allen and Heath, Yamaha, Harrison, Tascam, whatever you will often find a combination of and it can vary quarter inch trs or i should say quarter inch balanced trs balanced xlr 
and quarter inch unbalanced. Now, most of your stereo outboard gear, generically speaking, is unbalanced. If your external cassette deck, external DAT, external MD only has RCA out, well, we know by default that is an unbalanced audio signal. However, if the same equipment has XLR out, two XLR outs, because if you're running one XLR, 99 times out of 100, it's an AES EBU interface anyway, all right, then you have the option of either running a balanced or unbalanced signal. By default, if you have the ability to run balanced audio, you should run balanced audio. That sort of goes without saying. So when it comes to wiring up a quarter inch two wire audio to run on a balanced audio platform, you short common to shield or common to sleeve, depending on whether you're running TRS or XLR. Now, depending on your patch bay, most patch bays will be an unbalanced signal anyway. It's mainly your mixer and some of your effects. Now, in some cases you can get full normal or half normal balanced patch bays that will accept both unbalanced and balanced audio signals. So, for that viewer whose name is Deek, D-I-E-K, I think. If you're doing an XLR plug, you short common to shield. You don't run just positive and negative. You've got to short the shield, right? So you've got to have, it, it, it's basically saying you've got common or positive and two commons. Because if you only run just the two pins in a balanced system, you do get interference. So I don't know, I can't even remember which video we looked at. Oh, it's one from last year, crikey. Okay. There you go. So that's what you've got to do, Deke, or Deke, or whatever it is, D-I-E-K. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Um, you run your quarter inch, whatever, to your XLR or TRS plug, and you short shield slash sleeve to your common. Now, it's a dodgy way of doing it, but it does trick whatever the balanced audio device you're going into or coming out of, believing that there is actually a signal on pin three of an XLR or on the sleeve of a TRS, all right? Now, just for your own info, guys, too, when you look at, say, a quarter-inch headphone plug, essentially, it's a balanced plug because it is TRS. Tip, ring, sleeve. Left, right, and common. You could look at it that way, but there we are. Quick Q&A and advice video here at Backyard Tech for a Tuesday. Stick around. We'll have, uh, we'll have, we may have something else today. If not, I'll catch you tonight for the convos. Have a good one. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.